When was the last time you played a mobile game? Was it just to procrastinate or you had some goal in your favorite RPG that you hoped to achieve? That doesn't matter, because let's face it, in 2021 literally everyone has some kind of time killer installed in their smartphone. From this video you'll get answers to the following questions. Why do you need mobile game app development in 2021? What game should you create in 2021? What are the stages of the mobile game development process? How to find a developer to create a game app? Let's get to the essence of it. Oh, and one more thing. If you like the content we prepare, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you won't miss anything in the future. Game maps in numbers. First of all, mobile gaming is a booming market. And it won't give up its position. Statista forecasts that the mobile gaming content market value will reach about $29.1 billion by 2022. But by all means, this industry has more intel to prove how prospective it is. Mobile games have the largest share of play market revenue and even despite a slight downfall, the share will keep being the king of the hill by 2025. People love entertaining content and no one can really do anything about it. So the best decision would be to ask yourself how you can ride this way of fame. What game you should create in 2021? This is the question you can't omit. And so are we. The popularity of games on the market is not situative and lots of statistics out there aim to help you choose. We can share some number though. So, if you haven't made your choice yet, Rexsoft advises you to take a closer look at. Puzzle games. Their share on the market is 22.9%. RPGs. They hold third place in the rating of the most popular mobile games and have about 14% of the market revenue. Strategies. The profits made from these kinds of games are 13.36% of all mobile game industry profits. According to eMarketer, an average user spends about 3 hours a day on their smartphone. 11% of the time is spent on some kind of mobile game app. So, if you want to hop in this train of success, you better start now. Mobile game development process Game development is divided into three main stages. Pre-production, production and post-production. Pre-production this is where every project starts. Basically, a mobile game development company starts its job with pre-production. It defines what the game is about, why it should be made and what it takes to create it. You might have a great idea for the type of game story you want to bring to life or you might want to create one of users certain type of technology. During the pre-production phase, you should have answers to questions such as what is the game about? Who is our target audience uses? Are there any analogs in this market? What kind of competition? What platform will the project be built on? How will it be monetized? Will it be sold on the platform or will it be sold for free with in-game purchases? How long will it take to develop? What personnel and resources will be required for this? What is the indicated budget? This phase can last from a week to a year depending on the type of project, available resources and finances and usually takes up to 20% of the total production time. Now the promise essence itself. Firstly, let's figure out what technologies you should use for mobile game development. We at Tricksoft recommend Unity, Spine2D and c -sharp. They work well together in terms of mobile development and we will talk about this in more detail. Unity for building a game app Unity Game Development is a popular engine and has a big community. Why does this matter to you as a businessman? That's simple. If your Unity developers are stuck with something, it would be much easier for them to figure everything out just by addressing Unity's community. Create support helps a lot when something unexpected happens. The engine is also extremely flexible and the Unity game will launch on any platform, iOS or Android, it doesn't matter. Your player will be able to enjoy the game even on the Mac if the Mac has us on board. Jokes aside, if you want quick development that will have good quality, this is your best shot. Spine2D for building a game app 
This is an animation tool that can be used with the Unity engine to build an impressive game with vivid animation that will wow your user. If you have lots of game assets, this should be the number one choice of your game designers. It helps with the creation of detailed animation and optimize this game assets. So with Spine 2D, your game will have better and more detailed animation. And as much as we love old school games, pixel animation doesn't always deliver. C Sharp for game app development. One more tool that will help your technical partner create the top game. C Sharp is an object oriented programming language, which means that it uses structure the software into simple resable pieces. It is required to build a Unity game, so it will be a necessary skill for your developer if you want to share the same engine as the third of the world's top mobile games. Production. In the process of developing a game, you need to go through several stages. Prototype. This is the initial trial of the game, which takes place during the pre-production phase and is detailed above. Some games may never get past this stage. First playability gives you a much better idea of the look that feel of the game. While far from final, placeholders are being replaced with better quality assets and illustrations are added. Vertical slice. The vertical slice is a fully reproducible sample that can be used to present your game to studios or investors. A vertical slice from a few minutes to half an hour allows you to see the game firsthand. Pre-alpha. Most of the content is developed during the pre-alpha stage. There are several important decisions to make during this phase of the game's development. Content may be cut or new elements will need to be added to improve the gameplay. Alpha. Game complete, which means that all major features have been added and the game can be played on its entirety from start to finish. Some elements such as art assets may still need to be added, but the controls and functions should work correctly. QA testers will make sure everything runs smoothly and report bugs to the team. Beta. At this stage, all content and resources are integrated and the team should focus on optimization rather than adding new features or capabilities. Goldmaster. The game is final and ready to be sent to the publishing center and released to the general public. Post-production. When the game is finished and released, the game development process continues with some team members being transferred to maintain bug fixing, patching or bonus or downloadable contact DLC. Others may move on to a sequel or next project. A survey may be conducted to discuss what worked and what did not work and to determine what could be done better next time. All project documents, assets and code are finalized, collected and stored in case they are needed in the future. How to find a developer to create a game app? Last but not least, the most interesting technical issue – to find the right person for your mobile game development. Look closely at their portfolio, for they need to have experience in mobile game development. What we would recommend you to look at is Several engagement models. You may need a dedicated team model or a custom solution development and it would be for the best if they can provide you with these types of services. Game art asset creation. This means that your game development will be combined with game design and this is great. It will help you save costs or third-party expert engagement and have everyone in your team on the same page. Post-release support and maintains. If something breaks, you will have them to help you. This is always need, especially if you arrive at the top position in the game stores. We at Rexoft know that this is only a matter of time for you to develop a bestseller, and we would be happy to help in your journey of creating a game app. Hope this video was useful and interesting for you. Follow our YouTube channel and see you in our next videos. Bye-bye!